Over here, I have five measuring cylinder. It's a common apparatus that you might be given for your practical. They comes in many different volume. For example, 100 ml all the way down to 10 ml. But at 10 ml, I might as well be using a syringe. It's ridiculous to be using a measuring cylinder because they are not the most accurate instrument. But if you are given it, instead of a syringe, you can always say, oh, to improve the accuracy, I can use a syringe instead of measuring cylinder. So today, I will use a 100 ml to measure some liquid. So I can squirt it in, but you can see that if you are given this kind of squirty squirty bottle, it can be very slow. So what I like to do is to open the cap and just pour it right in. So just be careful. So let's say I want to fill it up to 65 ml. I will need to read the measuring cylinder at eye level. Now I have a ping pong ball down here. Guess what it's supposed to represent? Yeah, your eyeball. So you have to read it at eye level. The ping pong ball should be at the 65 ml mark. Then you can just add it drop by drop to see whether it increased until 65. Okay. Now, just make sure that you are reading it from the meniscus. That means the bottom. So let me just add a bit more. So if close by, your eyeball should be at this level. But of course, you do not have to go into so near to the measuring cylinder. You can look at it from a further distance away. So we are about there at the 65 ml mark. I just need to add a bit to ensure that the meniscus is at the 65 ml mark. Okay. Yep, so you can see the 65 ml mark and now the meniscus or the bottom of the so-called liquid is at the 65 ml mark. So this is how you measure so-called accurately with a measuring cylinder. But of course, it's not the most accurate measuring instrument. For a more accurate one, you probably want to use a syringe. But of course, given the volume, maybe 100 ml, you need a measuring cylinder.